first of all that name Otivo Stingo Thao Stingonga Stingo Zanini. I know you're an instrumentalist, you're a talented guy, but is it Stingo ni zafanyanini exactly? <laughs> the name actually doesn't come from music. It doesn't. Yeah. Ni Stingo Zanini? It comes from my basketball days. No way. Yeah. That's so, so dope. Yeah, so I used to be that guy who like there's no easy pass. You have to do just something flashy. Yeah, yeah. You, know, uh, yeah, you have so to go big or go home. Yeah, so guys in my hood used to call me Steve Oma Stingo. Mm-hmm. So later yeah. when I evolved, when it was time to pick a name for my arts, it was easy. No, because I'm a Stingo to see more Jambili Thao. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> Oti, so I, I, I usually had this thing in my head that I have to have an artistic name. Yes. That's like my original name. Mm. A first name and a surname. Yeah. Yeah. So I like it. Otivo is my first name uh-huh. and Stingo Thao is my artistic surname. It's your artistic surname. You're a multi-instrumentalist. You've got your guitar here. What other instruments do you play? I play the drum set for a reggae band. Mm, nice. We play for an artist called Ja Lyric. Mm-hmm. And then I also play bass guitar and uh, play percussions. Wow. My first instrument I learned with my father was the trumpet. Oh my gosh. Mm. And I did the recorder for my KCSE music exams. Wow. So those are First of all, I just know your lungs are in peak condition because the trumpet is no joke, right? Yeah, sure. yeah, <laughs> Requires yeah, a, a ridiculous yeah. amount of breath control. But thank you so much for making it. I also want to get to know Mufasa a little bit. Uh, you're a poet. I even want to call you a lyricist because sometimes I'm like, music is, you know, poetry just with a... You know, a little beat, a little something, something. But yeah. tell us about yourself and what you do. Ah, uh, yeah. So my name is Mufasa. I am a writing and performing poet. I think uh, I've done now for about what, probably te- almost ten years now. Mm-hmm. Just doing poetry. Oh, it wasn't a plan, of course. It wasn't like a Nikom dog. I used to say like, "Oh, I want to be a poet when I grow up." No. It just happened. I like that you, you're honest about it. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. no, because uh, did you know that that was a viable, like, you know, thing to do? It wasn't. When yeah. I began, it wasn't an option at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were just charting your own path. Like, yeah. I'm going to do this yeah. and I'm going to be good at it. Yeah. And then things opened up. And when they open, they open. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm-mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're like preaching, sister. <laughs> Sitawa, it's so good to have you. Um, you are perhaps uh, someone who's been in the industry uh, for a bit longer than these guys, made great, great contributions. But if someone, by some weird reason, mm-hmm. does not know who you are, tell them. Tell them. Okay. Um, so my name is Sitawa Namwalie. And I'm a poet, playwright, and performing artist. Yes. I've been a poet. Uh, I started out as a poet 17 years ago in March. You remember the I the remember month. the day. I remember it was the 7th of March, oh by the gosh. way, specifically. <laughs> what what happened on the 7th of March, exactly? S- the 7th of... It was the day before, actually. The 6th of March, mm-hmm. I went and I watched Sh- um, Shelja Patel, one of our, our leading uh, poets. Yes. She'd come back home. And for some reason, I knew about her. And I listened to her, and I watched her, and I was like, but I know what she's doing. Mm-hmm. And the next day, I went and I wrote my first poem. And, and But it was also because long, long ago... Uh-huh. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm really, we're getting into it. Long, long ago, yeah. I had wanted to be a writer, mm-hmm. and then I wrote a story when I was 10 and took it to school, and my teacher said, you couldn't have written it because wow. it was supposedly too good. Mm-hmm. And then I thought in my head, I gave up. I said, they'll never believe me, so why bother? But you know, it was a dream in the back somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And it's become a reality. You're still Absolutely. writing Absolutely. Um, in so many, so many forms, not just the poetry. And we'll get into that. But yeah. I'm so happy. Uh, and I've spoken about this like several times on the show that uh, Kenyan theatre is really, really at a good place right now, experiencing a renaissance. Of course, far to go, but we've also come from very far. I so I think I'll start with you mm-hmm. uh, putting on, getting on stage for your first ever play. The difference between then and now, what are the industry, you know, the, the things that you miss from back then and the things that you're like, thank God we were delivered from the gutter. Right. Um, yeah. When I when I first started, um, things had uh, we were we were there were very, very few people um, uh, working in, 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 in the sector. Mm-hmm. And and also 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 it was like they, the we were always beginning. So it was always like, oh, we're beginning again. Mm-hmm. Um, and then people would, would uh, work in the sector. They, it would be very difficult to make money. And then they'd, they'd, they'd have to go and do something else or, yep. or they'd quit or whatever, right? So, you know, lo- we, we do stand on the, on, the, on the shoulders of a lot of people who came before us. 
But right now, it's incredible. There's so many people working in the sector, coming up with productions. Like every week, there's several. Like on the on the day that we on the weekend that we're we're performing yes. at the Brayburn Theatre. Yeah. There's two p performances. There's ours, and then there's another one because they've got two theatres, mm -hmm. right? There's just so much happening. There's theatre awards, the infrastructure, the people, the interest. You know, yeah. I mean, I d I think it. You know, that you are you ha are having us here mm -hmm. is also an indicator of the interest of the larger public. True. And and uh, one of the other things I'm seeing is that the public audiences are interested. So so they come to the theatre. Whereas before it was, you know, you, it was like pulling teeth. You know, you'd have to <laughs> plead with people, please, please <laughs> come, 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 come. You yes. know, and, and now it was they're someone who knows someone who knows, uh, right. no, 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 you know, like exactly. that. Yeah. But right. now people are just like randomly looking and you know falling in love with the art. I exactly. love that we're getting to that place. Exactly. Uh, real quick, Mufasa, the first coin you ever made from performing poetry. Do you remember it? The first coin. Yes. Whether it was five five sock ten k a hundred whatever it was, do you remember? Yeah, I do. It was two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Who paid you this two hundred? An event uh, within town. I didn't like it. It was two hundred. What I was it? <laughs> you have to tell us more. Happy. Happy. You have to tell us more. And uh -huh. well, more than it was just it was actually they gave us one thousand bob. Mm -hmm. How many to, were you? Yeah, to split. <laughs> Eh, how, between five people. Yeah, and then somebody would be like, "I uh, see so you have the, you can give me this amount and then take this whole note." I'm like, mm -mm, "I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen." Nah, I, oh so we my went God. around for about an hour just looking, looking for, for change. change. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bad. Otivo, can you relate to? You're just like, nah, that's that's not been my struggle. Sorry, brother. <laughs> for me, it's interesting because I come from a musical family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, my dad has. He's, he, he had already made money from music, so he knew that was possible. Yeah, yeah, plus, yeah. Plus, I come from, like, my father is a man of the cloth, so uh -huh. that's why I even g got the advantage of having an array of instruments at I my disposal. So I like that. You know, when you said my father is, I thought you were going to say, like, a billionaire. Like, you're about to say, I come from money, so it's never really been a struggle. 